So how do you create content that earns engagement? So we got, we've decided what way we're going to use a Facebook page. Now, how do we create the content for that page? Um, real quick, because I think the challenge is more in how do you create content for the content channel approach? How do we create content that people actually enjoy and want to see and we'll make them follow us and we'll make them engage and we'll get a lot of reach? That's the part that's maybe a bit more of a mystery, but let's just cover quickly, how do we create content for that persuasion page? So remember that if we've decided that we're gonna run a persuasion page, we're not actually trying to create a lot of reach or engagement, we're just making posts for the people who come to our website to look us up. So examples of what we could do um, on our persuasion page, we can just post stuff like reviews and testimonials and case studies, those can be persuasive. Uh, we can post about product overviews, we can post a little bit about our values and culture, the people inside the business, uh, we can showcase some of our features and benefits. These are all things that are going to be valuable for us to post because we're just trying to persuade people. We're not trying to get reach and engagement. We're not trying to build followers because all of this would make pretty poor content if we're trying to get followers. These are things that unless people are trying to do research on you and they're in that consideration research phase, they're not all that interested in. Um, and so it really is just appropriate for you using it as a persuasion page. So this is the part that I know is a lot more challenging. This is the part that people need help with and, and I can provide a lot of guidance here on how do you create content for using your Facebook page as a content channel. Um, remember that here, of course, we are looking for organic reach and engagement, but importantly, you have to publish things that your audience actually wants to see in their feed. So if I'm following a page and a, a testimonial comes up, I don't really care. <laughs> Mixed in with photos of my friend's kid or my favorite brand uh, posting about something funny, I, there's nothing in there that is exciting to me when I see just a review or testimonial or a promotion or a sale or a reminder that I should be a customer. That is not good social content if you're looking for a lot of engagement and you're looking for followers. So how do we create stuff that people actually look forward to seeing. We break this up into three different types of content. Examples are you can create how content, you can create now content, and you can create wow content. And I say that we follow this, but we haven't come up with this. I got to give credit to a content marketer named Margaret Magnarelli. We've been using this how now wow approach for many years. Um, and it's just a way of thinking about the different ways that we can create content that our audience actually enjoys. So let's go through them. How content is count content that is informative or it's instructional. You want to share your expertise. Some examples would be things like if you have a retail store as one of the examples we gave of a business that could use this type of Facebook approach, you might create a post, you know, five different ways to style to tie a scarf. That's content that people might be interested in knowing about. It's how content, it teaches them something. People like to learn things, that's that's valuable. If you're um, a financial advisor was an example we gave before about the type of business who might take this approach. An example would be some easy savings hacks. So I saw this one recently, it's about all these different envelopes you toss in there. You pull one out randomly each week, whatever number it says on the outside, you put that amount of dollars inside. Uh, by the end of the year, will, you will have saved just over $5,000. So it's just this hack, this tip that you can put out there as a financial advisor that people are like, that's, that's genius. I can follow that. I can do that. That's a great, that's a great idea. So this is how you create how content. You just want to share your expertise, show people that you have something to offer them. They engage with that. They like it. They're building a relationship with you. There's some, there's some value to that. Creating now content means you're just connecting to what is timely, what's current, what's happening now. You're just participating in the discussions that everyone else is happening um, and, and just being a part of the now. So this is the news, this is developments and celebrations, this is bringing people together on a shared experience right now. An example would be just a reminder, if you're that home builder, uh, a reminder to winterize your home as things start to freeze. You don't want your outside faucets to crack with ice. So just that reminder, um, that can be a piece of content that ties to the now, that reminds people to do something and they thank you for that reminder and that's an engagement and they've, they're building that relationship with you. 
Another example would be like the hockey team example um, that we gave was a hockey team might connect to the now by sharing some recent news. So we made the playoffs. Here's the score from the most recent game. Uh, we just signed this new player, whatever it is. That's now. That's news. It's connecting to the now, and that's really valuable as something that people enjoy receiving and they will engage with. For wow, this one's kind of self-explanatory. It's just entertaining or exciting posts, interesting, funny, amusing, beautiful, whatever, some sort of emotional reaction. What is that wow content that you can create? Just captivate your followers. Um, an example, we talked about a heavy equipment um, detail dealer being a type of business. Maybe you light up a tractor with a whole bunch of Christmas lights. That's just like, oh, that's cool. That's amazing. You did a great job. Love it. Cute. You know, you like it. You share it. You comment on it. That is wow content. Um, another one would be, we talked about a restaurant as being a type of business. Uh, you've probably heard of the channel on Facebook called Tasty with many millions of followers, but you could have this overhead camera view of uh, one of your dishes being prepared. And that's just, that's entertaining to watch. If it's sped up, especially, you got a nice clean view, you can see how this dish is prepared, see the fresh ingredients, see how it's made. Uh, and that's just, it's kind of mesmerizing to watch. It's very satisfying. Uh, and that wow content can be really, really helpful. So again, the content types, how, now, wow. We're talking about content that people consume. And when I think of people going to the internet to look for content, I can't think of anything that people go there for content-wise um, that isn't within one of these categories of how, now, or wow. Yes, they go to the internet for practical reasons. They have to check their email. They got to go to online banking. They need to buy something online. But we're talking about content these are the only three things that people are looking for and that they enjoy. Um, and so by extension on social media, that's all they're going to find valuable. It needs to be instructive or needs to be connected to now and be news or needs to be entertaining or exciting or, or something in that, um, in that channel. It has to be one of those things or honestly, people just won't care about your content. So if you are taking this content channel approach, I highly recommend that you make this your religion. How now or wow is what your content needs to be one of. And before anything ever gets posted, you audit it against this. Is this a how post, a now post, a wow post? If it's none of them, if you can't think of how it could possibly be one of those, um, I'm very confident saying that your audience is probably not gonna be very interested in it. You're probably, you're probably sharing something that's more about what's beneficial to you than what's beneficial to them. Also consider that most content can probably be argued to be a couple of these categories. And that's what can really make it most valuable is when a piece of content is both how and now, or now and wow, whatever it is. So if we talked about, um, we talk about winterizing your home, well, that could be how and now because you're teaching them something, but it's also very seasonal or how to tie a scarf all these different ways. It's seasonal, but you're also teaching them something. So that's, it's very beneficial to think about how can we incorporate a few of these categories into one piece of content because it's gonna be even more relevant to you. Now, I know that this is gonna be hard to follow because if you're not doing the persuasion page um, type of Facebook management and you're wanting to be a content channel, you're kind of wanting to tell people about your offers, about um, what's happening in your business, but I, I, I urge you that if this is actually your goal is to be a content channel, you need to stick to this. Um, if you have an offer, you can make ads. Uh, there's other ways of getting offers in front of people, but if you're gonna be a content channel, you need to create content. And that means that how, now, or wow is has to be one of those categories if it's gonna be truly great content.